Uh, let's talk to Brandon in Dallas. Hey, Brandon. Hey. Hey, man. I got to say, thanks for fucking cleaning up those racist pig cops this weekend. Hey, listen, you know, they had what was coming, and I'm just glad that, you know, we have the heroes like that. I peel them back like potatoes, because this is a war and pigs hate us. Cops ain't shit, ain't shit, ain't shit. <laughs> pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. Hey, that's it. Uh, go ahead. Well, I saw this video. I don't know. He might be, uh, he might rival... Uh, the guy from Hamilton and the amount of annoyingness. Um, Good luck. He wears, like, shorts a lot, and when he wears pants, he wears flip-flops. <laughs> That's, like, 28, and he's really into skateboarding. Does he skateboard with flip-flops? That would be good. All right, I what's... don't know. I didn't really see him. But you know... he, like, wanted to... he wanted to put a half-pipe in his office. Wow, that is irritating. Um Andrew Wilkow has a slogan for his show where he goes, the arguments here are, I'm right, you're wrong, the arguments here can't be broken, but it's fun for you to try, something like that. I feel that way about our douche list, our shit list. Uh, people have tried to knock Proud of Your Boy out of the top spot, and there have been some contenders, like Eddie Murphy's, What's up, what's up, what's up with you? That was yeah. almost as bad as Proud of Your Boy, but Proud of Your Boy reigns supreme. And then... People go, you know, don't think of Kevin Spacey when you're trying not to come. I have this guy. Tried it. Nope. Nothing buys you time like Kevin Spacey. And if you think you can lock Lin-Manuel Miranda out of the top spot, I'm all for it. What's his name? Okay, so just go on YouTube and look up Gavin McInnes, Vice in Early Days, and it's some documentary. You fucking is. bastard! Are we not screening these calls? He lied to me. <laughs> yeah.